Uh, my name is Walter Ge, and I work for uh, Institute for Environment and uh, Development, short for IED. IED is a local Chinese NGO working on the environmental protection and sustainable development. We work on climate change, work on green education, and also in green economy. So we have a joint program with the World Resources Institute called the Ventures China Program. The main purpose of this program is to help the local green, small and medium-sized enterprises to grow and by making them grow to make the economy sustainable. So for the economic growth, China is actually growing very rapidly during the past 10 years with uh, average GDP growth about about 9%. But uh, uh, if you take a look at the environmental protection side, uh, China is not doing a, um, a, 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 a good job as good as the, the economic growth. The Chinese government put forward the definition of green development for the first time in its 12th five year plan. Yeah. And also uh, it's uh, mentioned the inclusive growth, which I never heard before in, in the national report, uh, government report. Mm -hmm. So basically from our eyes, the Chinese government is trying to upgrade its uh, economic structure, and trying to balance the growth between economy and uh, environmental protection. In the, let's say, in the past uh, 10 years, or past five years, uh, the, uh, it's going to two opposite directions. Mm -hmm. the, government, especially the local governments, is developing the, the economy as a sacrifice of the environment. Mm -hmm. That's a very typical sign for China, let's say 10 years ago. Yeah, but gradually the government, especially the, the central government, began to realize the importance of protecting the environment. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, in their performance indicators, mm -hmm. in the past, the uh, their, their main or their sole indicator is the GDP growth. So if you can get GDP growth, you can be promoted. Mm -hmm. But gradually, they are now added into some new factors, like you need to consider the um, environment in your region, in, in your city, and then you also need to consider the social welfare into your uh, performance. Mm -hmm. So that's a big change. Uh, as a local NGO, we feel a big change in 2009. Before that, uh, as an environmental NGO, it's uh, a bit hard for us to explain the Im importance of environmental protection either to the uh, public or to, the, to some of the uh, government officials. But in 2009, with the Copenhagen, uh, Copen uh, Copenhagen mm -hmm. Summit on Climate Change, all of a sudden, like uh, everybody in China, they began to realize what climate change is. And they are talking about the climate change, they are talking about the low carbon development. But as an old Chinese saying that uh, knowing something is one thing, but doing something is another thing. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's say that now they become, the awareness of the public and the government has been raised. But the next step is how to better protect the, the environment with regulations, with laws, and with some um, uh, with the participation from all the society. Mm -hmm. So we are now looking forward to the next step. Actually, uh, from our opinion, it's a, a combined efforts, both from the government and the society. So you cannot just require people to do this and do that without getting their buy-in yeah. and on the other hand you can just you can not only uh, just ask people to do something good for their own sake that makes no sense so it's a combination it's uh, like a bottom up and uh, up from the bottom mm -hmm. it's a combination ways mm -hmm. or approach in doing this uh, of course this would be ideal but in reality that will not be realized so easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to actually educate people on this and you, all, you also need to put some incentives for people to do this. People like to do something for good, but if you have more 
like say provincial policies or more incentives or even some uh, restrictive regulations, they, they can do it faster and better. We believe um, actually um, a both way approach. You not only need to encourage people to do this by providing them with some rewards on this, and but also you need to actually have some laws and regulations forcing people to do this.